Hey up everybody, it's Friday, so it's the time for Community Update with myself and Pain God. How's everybody doing? How are you doing, Pain God? Doing good. Getting closer to Halloween. It's cold. We were just talking about the weather not so long ago. It's um, This was the first day I put the heat on. It's cold. Chilly. I was a week ahead of you. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. How's it going? Uh, Degeneratio, Nameless Saint, Winged Racer. How are we doing? <laughs> How's it going, Army Guy, Rad Laddie, Sprung Nickel? Nice to see you all here. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to cover today. we got some really cool um, trailers to show you guys. Um, we'll be taking a first look at something um, new to Cold War. But where should we get started, Pain God? Uh, let's recap a little bit of this week, um, or this month, right? So the October, uh, okay, <laughs> first time talking today, uh, October, <laughs> October challenge for the T54E2, uh, 13,211 people have completed it to date. There's still oh, plenty nice. of time through November 1st for those of you who haven't picked it up yet. Uh, we added the, the we added the Sturm Tiger line uh, on October twelfth. Uh, those tanks have uh, played over seven hundred thousand battles. There's wow! Over, uh, uh, players own over forty thousand of those tanks across that line, uh, and over a thousand players now own the tier ten Sturm uh, Sturm Tiger. So, uh, congratulations on on your grind, everybody. Hope you're enjoying them. The win rates on them, we, we're still watching it. We still need a couple more weeks of data, but yeah. um, the Tier 5, uh, the Stug, uh, is at a 49% win rate. The Tier 6, Brumbar, is at 50, 50% win rate. The Tier 7, Sturm Panzer, is at a 50% win rate. The Tier 8, Sturm Tiger, yeah, right, 49% <laughs> win rate. The bar, still, the, the bar still below the bar, sitting at 48%. Win rate, so it might need a little help. And the tier 10 Sturm Tiger has got a 51% win rate. So nice, healthy tanks out there in in the uh, in, in the in the wild. Yeah, the but the bar's just a little bit behind, but yeah, the rest of them are looking pretty good there. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see kind of you know what goes on with um, with the bar. <laughs> So then we, uh, res uh, the latest results, again, we need a couple more weeks on the, the tanks re tank reforged the Panther line, right? Um, yeah. we're, we're watching it closely. Uh, it had a 700% increase in ownership, a 300% increase in battles played. Uh, the win the win rate uh, before, after, these will be in uh, Mintos' notes, so I'm not going to read the all, all, all the all the numbers, but the, the Tier 10, uh, uh, is it 51.7, the tier 9, 51.3, the tier 8, 51.2, and the tier 7, 50.1. So they're, they're doing, they're, they're doing as they should out there. Uh, another week or two, I'll give, uh, have the, the damage survivability, uh, numbers for you. Uh, and then the daily play challenge, uh, where all you have to do is play and, and penetrate a, a chance once a day, you, uh, can earn a drop. Um, uh, you all have collected uh, over 755,000 drops so far, so we're just giving it away again. Uh, 755, and that's since Tuesday. Yeah, six digits. Oh my. Uh, so uh, that goes through uh, October 25th, so you still have lots of time to earn more. Um, the amazing nice. numbers, huh? Like, what? That's uh, a lot, yeah. Um, if you guys are enjoying those daily drops, let us know in the chat. Let us know what you think. No, I, I'm sure they hate getting free stuff for playing. <laughs> I'm sure they're, they're going to complain. Sometimes they do. <laughs> like, stop giving us stuff. <laughs> You're making it too easy. Uh, <laughs> the modern trappings uh, tanks can earn uh, for the T-72 stalwart. Uh, about 58,000 people have uh, earned that. And then the M1A1 uh, uh, Abrams skin win uh, uh, 32,000 people uh, have uh, earned that one. So congratulations. Congratulations. And then there, there is this week. What a week, huh? 
I have not. I feel like I've been sprinting all week. It's, I can't believe it's Friday already. It's crazy. Uh, what a week. Um, you know, I, I know you guys in the community have been. Um, you guys have been quiet actually. Um, so it's going to be. It's been an interesting week because I've been so busy. Um, but I was. I was glad that you guys were, were were kind of enjoying the game, nice and quiet this week. I'll take. I'll take it as a as a sign you guys are, are happy with the direction we're going with things here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into your feedback for the report today. That's because I got too much to do. Right? So we got watched, a lot to do. the new Kinetic Fury season uh, yeah. featuring uh, the, the monster tank, the creature, um, uh, in the uh, Ultimate Season Pass, uh, and that also included Ravenous Rolf, the zombie mm-hmm. 3D commander. Uh, lots of creatures out there. Uh, it was the number one tank played uh tuesday wednesday thursday so far those are the only days we have over sixty three thousand battles played in three days so far uh the win rate is sitting right at 50 percent yeah um 400 players have already completed the season so they either ground or skip their way that they did 400 players in three days i am i'm surprised and i'm not surprised again it's the the speed that some some of our players consume New content is um, is um, is amazing, <laughs> actually. And hard to keep up with. Um, the season pass has also featured the the NM one hundred and sixteen Cold War Western Alliance post war PD TD, uh, and the Object seven fifty two World War two uh, Tier nine so- Soviet medium. So tanks everywhere. Um, amazing. I was getting a lot of good feedback uh, on on you guys. We told you that we. We heavily, heavily discounted the uh, uh, ultimate season pass because it's our favorite holiday. Um, we saw the difference. Usually, you know, the uh, uh, ultimate season passes. The season pass sells ten to one. The ultimate season pass. Uh, right now, it's two to one. So big, big difference. Mm-hmm. Um, so glad you everybody's enjoying it. Yeah, I've seen a lot of love for the for the adjustment and the price for that. Um, so um, you know, I'm I'm really glad that the community is enjoying that. And um, you know, it's um, like I said last week. It's we've all been through a lot this year. It's a nice a nice little um, gesture to you guys. Um, and I hope that um, you're all really enjoying it. It seems that you are. Uh, and then we released the the, the Monster Three com, uh, uh, Commanders, um, Carmilla here, everybody's favorite. <laughs> She's gonna uh, get you. Um, uh, the, the most owned is Ravenous Rolf because he came in the, in the Ultimate Season Pass. Yeah. Right? But for the most recruited was Carmilla at 1,280, then Warwolf at 662, and poor Monstrosities at the bottom at 441. That's funny. It's crazy. He's awesome. Uh, so again, glad you're enjoying uh, enjoying them. It's really hilarious to see them on the the MVP screen post match. It is. Yeah. Um, it is. We're, we were talking like, what are we gonna do for for April Fools? You know, we're planning out there, and they were like, let's have a, let's have all the commanders dance in the uh, in the uh, MVP screen. And I'm like, we are not making custom dance animations for all the commanders in the MVP. Oh no, no, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I'm not a dancer. Well, we had that meeting, and then I was playing later on, and then I saw uh, it, uh, it was uh, a, a Carmilla, a Raisin of uh, uh, Rolf, and a Monstrosity, all three at the MVP screen. I'm like, it would be kind of funny if they were dancing. I'm like, no, we're not spending time making this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, we launched the, the Halloween uh, uh, Garage. Uh, that's live through November 1st. Uh, put uh, new monster key cards on sale. Those are those are live through December sixth. I don't know why we have them on sale for that long. Um, That's and then a long time. the yearly favorite, uh, the Monster Hunter uh, Earn Up, uh, which is live through November first, where you play and you play and you play and you can take your pick uh, of a monster tank. So far, the most the, the favorite there. Um, and mind you, this is three days of data, so. 1,899 people already have the Revenant, Crass Panther. Sitting at number one. Uh, the Lycan, my personal favorite, 1,265. Kaiju, 810. The one I can never say, Gornichim, 
Gorbachev. Gorbachev. It's Gorbachev. <laughs> 126. The Holland Hound at 107. Then Inferno at 82. The Bellerophon. I struggle with that one. Why don't we just use names like Bob and Jack? <laughs> That should be that should be the thing for the next one, Bob and Jack, and you know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> uh, the Dragon of Forty One, the Bog Horror at Thirty Seven, and the Wraith at Thirty Seven. Okay, okay. Um, so, so yeah, that's for the uh, for the Monster Hunter, and um, just remember, you know, um, I've got some notes here to go over with that. Let me just pull this sucker out really quick. Um, just so everybody knows, those are those that might be kind of new to this time of the year, and um, you know, or have maybe never done this, um, taken part in these events before. Uh, just a quick heads up for you guys, um, you know, with um, make sure that you know if you are if you pick a tank, um, that ends this event for you. Um, so just um, be aware that if you want to play a little bit further and unlock other tanks, just um, um, just kind of take into account like how far you want to go with it. If you feel like choosing this tank and you're happy with it, then no problem. But if you want to keep going um, to see if you can get the next tank down the line um, and you're going to play a little bit more, just hang in there. Um, support is able to help with a few things. Um, say, for example, if you don't pick a tank, or if you pick the wrong tank, um, you should be able to reach out to support for that. Um, um, so just be aware of that. And if you guys have any other like questions on that, or you know, um, a little bit confused with how exactly it works, I'd be happy to help you guys um, just understand that a little bit further. But yeah, essentially, you're know, hanging there until um, you get the tank that you want. Um, and you know, for whatever reason, you know, if you you pick the wrong one or you 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 don't pick one altogether then um, supports the place to go for that okay uh we also started our very first uh commander skill respect discount so 50 percent off uh through november 25th so so quite a while so um and then all, all monster tanks earned or purchased during this time will receive two times commander uh xp uh through november 1st so if you earn just just earn a tank uh, uh in the monster hunter op and then play with that with your favorite commander and uh it'll get two two times the commander xp for every battle through november 1st that's brilliant i'd love to see that and and the commander respect discount as well they're, they're two of my favorite things on this list and if that wasn't enough reason to to have a monster tank we also have the monster drop so for every victory in a monster tank um, that you, you acquire between October 19th and the 1st, November 1st, in multiplayer or the Monsters Awaken mode, you earn a random drop. And so far, you ready for this one? I've just seen it. That's three a really days, big number. In three days, <laughs> 79,686 monster drops have been awarded. Yeah. We that's... are just giving it away. How are we going to stay in business? <laughs> it's amazing. It's not even Black Friday yet. And we're getting close to that now as well. Twenty twenty fifth, right? Twenty fifth of November. I'm sorry, twenty sixth for Black Friday. That's the the day after Thanksgiving, right? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> End of November. I get a four day weekend. The only time hey. all year. So. Uh, uh, oh, and then we have plus one, uh, minus one matchmaking in uh, World War Two. Um, uh, starts. Yeah. It started this morning at five a.m. Yeah. and it runs through the morning of the twenty fifth. Yeah, so it's back, guys. I know you guys love it. Your plus one, minus one matchmaking's live now all over the weekend um, until the update. So enjoy. All right, we got this. is This is kind of like the exclusive um, part of the the show. Now we got some cool things to show you guys. And, we're take a uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna I take said a whole bunch of words. I might take a nap. Take a breather. <sighs> I didn't fall out of my chair. Friday, get a beverage. Oh, okay, so wait. next week you're saying is uh, that's not enough. What's next week? Uh, so uh, starting Tuesday we have uh, our awakened mode or mos monster mash mode or whatever you want to call. It. I think we end up calling it something different every year. It's, it's and now all the marketing shows that you're awakened. 
And it's Monsters the Awakened. And I'm like, whatever. It's Halloween Monsters book. Awakened. There's no mash. <laughs> or Awakened Mash, which would be its own monster. <laughs> Should we show the trailer? Yes, let's show, let's show the, the 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 team did a really good job putting this trailer together. It's one of my favorites. I love the it's music. Brilliant. I love I love the font that's being used. I like the superimposed. But well, why don't you just watch it? Enjoy. <laughs> Dear. Sprung nickel. I you saw the skelly with the AK AK. That'd be so funny. Army guy, I wanna see a video. I wanna see I wanna see what you do with that. <laughs> Did you guys see yeah, the, the I, I, was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say I I need a new army guy video and this is the perfect those skeletons with the AKs are all over the place too. And you can blow them up. You can blow them up, that's so funny. That's great. Um, yeah, I, I've only just saw that this morning. Props to the team. Very well done. Um, players are excited for this. It's going to be hilarious. Um, Monsters Awakened. So it starts on Tuesday. Um, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, and enjoy, again, the, you know, the first looks that we get to do on these streams here. Just giving you guys nice and early information. All right. But we've got more. More. Um, we're also releasing the Centennial Chieftain uh, T95, the 59 version. It's a Western Alliance post-war uh, heavy with uh, with its own custom skin. I think we've got a screenshot of that. We do. Do we have a we have a screenshot and a trailer? Right, thanks, us. That is correct. Ooh, it's got a fancy trailer. I haven't even seen this trailer. Mm. And we're doing a giveaway for this as well. Um, so. Hang on in there. After this, we'll start the giveaway. This is a screenshot on screen right now. Beautiful. It's quite pretty. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Enjoy the trailer, folks. So that's the Centennial Chieftain T95-59, and it has a um, unique skin for it as well. Um, so yeah, is that is this a sign of things to come, Pain God? <laughs> as as of how? Oh, just thinking. You know, you know, it's you know the nation and stuff. Just wondering if it's got anything to do with you know things coming in the future. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, this one is going to be in the post-war era. It's a heavy, um, so that's era one for you guys. Um, 
and yes, this one's coming on Tuesday. The um, the skin, I believe it is, it's unique to the Cold War mode, and it, it won't be able to come to World War II, so this one's just a Cold War special for you guys. I um, believe the armor model's the same as the, um, the non-skin Centennial, um, i.e. the sandbags act as spaced armor. Okay. And we have got a giveaway for this. And all you guys got to do is to get in on this giveaway is hashtag Monsters Awakened with your gamer tag and what console you play. And we will draw this at the end of the stream. Okie dokie. Hey. Uh, to celebrate independent Czechoslovakia state day, uh, we have a new custom uh, Skoda T25 skin. I think we got a screenshot of that. We for, do. For you Skoda players. Skoda. And then we're also going to have a, 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 an earn challenge for the uh, Zika uh, Skoda T40. You can pick yourself up a Skoda if you don't already have one. Just by playing. Uh, we also have the next uh, installment of Tanks uh, Reforged. Uh, oddly enough, the Chieftain MK6 line. <laughs> uh, so that's so that's six tech tree tanks. Um, start, starting at, at the tier five Churchill one. Um, basically, the improvements uh, range anywhere from improvements to speed, armor, uh, upgrade progression, whole armor, some reload improvements. They'll all be, I have it all written down for Mentos. He'll post it, but. I shall. We'll never, time finish, we'll, we'll never finish. We'll never finish within this hour if I read every little detail. Uh, I got to, um, I quickly just got to go back a sec because I forgot to mention something about the uh, Centennial yeah. Chieftain T9559. Um, so we're running a giveaway here on Twitch, but we're also running the same giveaway over on Twitter as well. So if you, you've got two chances to win this today, as always, um, head on over to there as well. Retweet the tweet that promotes this stream. And back to you, Paying Guard. Right. Uh, we also rebalanced six premium tanks, the Tier 8. Carnarvon Action X and the Paladin Carnarvon Action X. Uh, they both got reload improvements. The Tier 7 uh, FE201 uh, uh, and it, it's Black Edition. Uh, got a penetration uh, increase. Yeah. The Tier 6 A43 Black Prince prototype got a speed increase. Uh, and the Tier 6 British Bulldog Churchill the 7th got a speed increase. <laughs> you go through your Roman numerals then. I'm like, there's a lot of Roman numerals on the screen. <laughs> I'm like, like, just call the tier, no, it's a tier six. Um, so, yeah, there is kind of a theme there today. I don't I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I don't know. British bias all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, the, uh, Tuesday is also, I, I believe, um, our release of the PlayStation 5 native version. Um, so there's... Not really much you're going to notice difference because uh, since we've been backwards compatible on PlayStation 5, we did all the enhancements and improvements way earlier in the year. Um, <clears throat> but it'll, it'll support um, PS5 specific things like uh, activities and stuff like that. But the game uh, looks and plays, you know, exactly the same. But uh, now that we ha have that native version, that like, opens the door to us making improvements for that platform uh, in the future. Okay, excellent. So some good news for PlayStation 5 players out there. Yeah, um, don't feel like you have to, well, we'll get a fact up for Tuesday, right? But don't feel like you're like, oh, well, I got to delete my PS4 version on my PS5 and then download the PS5 version and wait for all that. Just keep playing the backwards compatible version until you're not going to use your console for a while and then download it. Um, <laughs> it's I'm just, sorry for laughing. It's just, just um... weird technical thing. Yeah, my colleagues are uh, taking the mick out of me in the background for um, Minto is turning into a radio host. Back to you, Pain God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You guys are killing me in the back. <laughs> this is why I can't watch the streams that happens because once it's delayed and messes me up and two, I get totally distracted. It's hard no. for me to watch my Skype and people messaging me questions and, and yeah. answers. 
it's you spend many many plates um with doing the streams that's why i'm glad we have tank stars in the background for these friday streams because the monday streams you know you you can kind of get away with them doing solo but fridays it's like spinning plates with your head with your hands on your toes <laughs> Um, quick question. Uh, I've got a couple of quick questions here. So one from yeah. Hellcat. Um, so we were talking about the PS5 native. Do we have any updates on where we're at with the Xbox Series X by any chance? It's 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 right behind um, the <laughs> because there were there were new platforms. They had to go through full certifications and the rules of there's some new rules and I'll, I'll give you inside stuff like they're called TCRs and TRCs, technical certification requirements um, and technical requirements for certification that just they have to be different because they're different platforms um but it means all these things that you you have to follow and uh we had one left uh that popped up in the last cert with uh the xbox uh, series s uh, snx um that was confirmed fixed today that'll be going back into cert so it should come out anytime excellent pretty good Okay, so what we've got some fixes on the list, list next here. So where are we up to? Uh, yeah, fixes. Uh, a few fixes for Tuesday. Important one. I mentioned this last week. We found a really bad bug with the the camo net uh, bonus over multiplying <laughs> with the, uh, other concealment factors. You know, skills, equipment. Um, uh, so uh, that's fixed for Tuesday. That because it was stacking so badly. That means we needed to uh, 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 adjust the the advanced concealment uh, equipment for all Cold War light tanks, uh, mm -hmm. and then improve the base concealment factors for many of the Cold War lights, not all of them. So it, it, you'll see when you see the notes, like it'll be for the the like it'll say you know overall the cabinet bonus went from thirty seven point five percent to ten percent, and you'd be like, whoa. Well, because yeah. that's what, what the, the multiplying bug. But then we brought, we just did the uh, the equipment and the base concealment of the tanks to get them where they were intended to be all along. So the short of it is, everybody's like, you know, too many, too many, too many light tanks, annoying light light tanks and escalation. Uh, they were heavily, heavily, not maybe not knowing. Yeah, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. Exploiting this bug and this is why i was even always yelling in playtest about the armadillo i'm like he's right in front of me i lost target lot and all target information yeah i'd be like saying bad words in in, in the sky <laughs> chat the designers going this looks broken well guess what it was broken and now it's fixed excellent there's also going to be some um uh additional balance changes for the armadillo specifically um it's 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 too op um, that it, it's uh, there's slight re re uh, reduction to its overall concealment, its accuracy while while moving, and damage output. Um, they're very very small adjustments because we want to make small adjustments and then measure, and, and uh, we don't want to go too, too too far and then go back. And so um, uh, it might not be the last balance changes, but it's it's a it's a step forward to uh, reducing. Um, mm -hmm. That that tank's just dominating too much, and that's part of the reason why you're seeing too many lights in, in escalation. Okay, that's good news. Um, so yeah, rogue agent. Yeah, it's it, it. Let's see how it goes. It's we are we are aware of the issue, um, and we've been speaking about it for a number of weeks now. So um, it, it's incremental progress. We'll we'll do this. We'll see. You know, you know what the results are of it, and um, you know, hopefully. You know, we'll get there with this and have it resolved, so people can enjoy, you know, the era two and things like that again. Yeah, and, you know, the, I can tell you, like the changes for the armadillo. You know, we 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 put them through, through super tests three different times. A right? lot of yeah, well, I've seen it a lot. Really yeah. want to be careful about it and taking the feedback and making more adjustments and sending it back out. So, uh, you know, let us know what what you think of the result, <laughs> especially if you're not an armadillo player. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd like, yeah, definitely like to hear from, you know, Armadillo players and, you know, just players in general. Just let us know what you think. Um, see if we need to go a little further or if we've nailed it or, um, you know, we went, we went too far. Let me know. I want to hear all of it. Okay. Uh, and then uh, it turned out some tanks, for some reason, were missing their fourth equipment slot. So that's been fixed. And that will be out Tuesday. Excellent. And then there's like, 
cosmetic. I'm not going to bore everybody with, oh, this picture corrected, this overlapping text corrected, but there's a bunch of little cosmetic stuff that's in there too that we're always doing. Uh, other things going on, uh, we're still, you know, technical artists still looking at trying to get the the the, the color and uh, contrast of the tanks, you know, popping more uh, in the levels with the color filters. Um, yeah. So that's on, on, ongoing experiments are going on with that. Uh, I mentioned this last week uh, that this was coming. Uh, we're opening up uh, Xbox Super Test recruiting uh, starting today, and recruitment will be going on for the next week. Uh, watch out from post from you know Max Chaos Twenty Four. Um, there'll be an announcement uh, section in the forums. There'll be uh, a news post uh, on Discord. Um, so if you play the regular game, play the game regularly, know it. You want to see things early to give feedback on. Um, uh, you know, please apply. Excellent stuff. Uh, then we're we're. I'm hoping to be able to give details next week. But we're 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 just about final on having a competitive event in random battles uh, towards the end of November, uh, a ranking competitive event with prizes and stuff. Okay. Run, run it for a week. Um, I, the details I know for sure. Um, uh, you, you, over that week, over that the period of the week, you need a minimum of 30, 30 battles to qualify. We'll have daily leaderboards so you can check uh, your progress. Uh, we'll even let everybody know what the formula is, so it's not play more battles and you have a better chance, or it's not like have 30 really good battles and then stop playing. Um, you know, it's it's averaged across your battles. Um, we're, we're picking select tanks right now, so it will be um, a selection of Tier 10 uh, Soviet and U.S. tanks. Okay. Right? So this is going to get us to a point where we can start letting players see how they... Uh, they're performing against other players with specific tanks rather than here's my overall win rate, right? Well, that's across all kinds of tanks and all kinds of maps and, you know, um, all kinds of conditions and tiers and stuff like that. Um, so this is uh, uh, so so uh, people can uh, see what their ranking is uh, compared to others on uh, partic particular tanks. So uh, I'll give more details uh, when, when we have them uh, and uh, we're tr trying to lock down the pricing right now. Um, but it should it should be pretty cool, and you know, as always, once we run it, please give us your feedback. Do you want to see it more often? Uh, what what else do you want to see there? Um, yeah, it sounds like an interesting idea. Um, so you said we'll be able to check in with a little bit more information on this next week, perhaps. I'm hoping if we finalize if, if we know we finalized everything, then I'll give all the details. Um, Brilliant. Like I like we finalize the dates, that it's a week long, that it's a min thirty battles. That it's going to be uh, tier ten, uh, select U.S. and Soviet tanks. Those things I all know for sure at this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, dokie. The, the rest uh, we're still finalizing. So when, once finalized, I'll let you know. Excellent. Uh, uh, we're I promised uh, a list of uh, spectator HUD improvements this week. I'm sorry, I don't have it for you because we gathered. Um, uh, all the, the all the things that were uh, submitted by the community through Mintos, uh, all the wish list things we had different bugs. So uh, one of the one of the producers went through them all, collected it all, <coughs> put it, put it all on a list, and we're getting estimates on it so we can. And then we stack stack stack, uh, stack ranked it, and now we're, we we need to get estimates from uh, you know both UI and gameplay engineering. Um, uh, and uh, UI design and art, how long it's going to take them to do those, and then I can be like, okay, here's the ones we're tackling first. Here's the ones we're tackling next. So that's in progress. It just hasn't been finalized yet. Yeah. Yeah, so sorry, guys. We weren't able to um, get an update on that this week, but, you know, I've, I've made the tickets. Um, you know, I work with, you know, I've worked with Kellen. You know, Gambit's been out there chasing us up on this. Um, the team's working on them as we speak. So, so yeah, yeah I, think, I, I know. I, I think the UI team is meeting on them right yeah. now as we're doing the stream. And that's why I couldn't Excellent. be on that. But. Brilliant. So, yeah, just I, I'm glad we we're able to just touch on this anyway. Just to, you know, we're not, we're not forgotten about it. And we know that we know that it's an important part of streaming. Cuba, I miss you. Um, I know it's an important part of doing that. 
um, doing competitive streaming. Um, it's a big part of it, huge part of it. And um, so the sooner we can get that back to you guys where it's in like the best state possible, um, then the better. Yeah, it was one of those things like, okay, we'll get together a list like this and go through it. That should be pretty fast. You know, me always being talking to <laughs> a game developer. And the list was more like this. And, and so it's just, it's just taking a little bit longer. Yeah. Results, re results next week. Uh, I can tell you for whoever's going to ask about contracts. It's not still, came up yet. It's not? <laughs> okay, well, let's forget it. it. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, fine. Um, <laughs> uh, just we have we have the weekly you know uh, a weekly meeting on you know what's the progress for everybody that's involved on it and uh, I, just to let you know the progress the first check-ins from engineering of the functionality went in and went QA started pounding on it and uh, the functionality and looking for bugs as of yesterday so progress that's a big thing. You know, because once it's it's in the build and I can look at it, right, and QA can test it, that gives me a lot more confidence that we're going to get yeah. to the goal. Because a lot of times, these things are, are are can be worked on for weeks or months or you know really really long time, and and people are working on them locally. They don't want to break the build. They can't half half check in a feature because it'll end up in a release. And and so it, it when it gets into the daily build that we play test every single day. Um, and QA can test it, and I can get my hands on it. Th that's when I know, okay, you know, we're we're well on our way there. Excellent. Uh, thanks everybody that participated in the community uh, map test for uh, El Faya, uh <laughs> last Friday, right after the stream. Now I can pronounce it because I just I just felt the way it sounds. Um, uh, uh, Everybody that played was uh, sent a survey. We tallied all the, the, the feedback from the survey. We're working on the latest modifications uh, to thank those of, uh, of you that uh, helped us test and, and gave uh, uh, feedback. We put a little something in your Halloween stocking. Uh, Halloween stockings? Are they a yeah. thing? Yeah. <laughs> have to get me one. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys. I, I bought some pumpkins. I've never had a. I've never carved a pumpkin ever, and um, because I, I, I've got cats, I left them outside. The squirrels ate it. The squirrels. There was chipmunks in them. There was a mouse in one of them. They ate them all. Oh, well, you have to. One of the things you can. There's a bunch of different things you can do, but one of the things you can do uh, is just uh, rub, put Vaseline on the outside, and I'll make them totally uninterested in it. I did not know that. What, yeah. what happens? Did he like? Did he run up on it and they slip up? <laughs> I I don't know if it's the slipperiness or it masks the smell or something. It's like petroleum, isn't it? So they probably won't. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Little little rodents chewed all the way through. There's a big hole all the way through my pumpkin. <laughs> Another distraction. Well, last year, last year I had mice chew all the seals out of my shop, my brand new shop back. That's just cruel. All the rubber seals. I'm like, what are you doing with the rubber? That's cruel. Yes. I love a good uh, shop back. So thanks, <laughs> thanks, thanks for uh, uh, everybody that helped uh, uh, play and test and, and give feedback on Hellfire. Uh, I always get asked what's the next set of maps that are coming. I've announced it, but I'm always happy to. to uh, to, to repeat it, uh, if, uh, thief, 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 pole, the Val, the Apollo, the V's in the wrong place. How do you pronounce it? It's a beautiful Ridge, place. Uh, uh, for uh, Cold War and World War Two, uh, Rossini, uh, for Cold right. War and World War Two, and upgraded uh, uh, Ellenberg for World War Two and Lakeville for World War Two. So all of you people that like to drown your tanks at the end of the match so you don't get killed, Lakeville is coming back. Excellent. Uh, oh, and a bug fix I forgot about. Is hey, we, fixed, we fixed the custom, the custom uh, inscriptions uh, and emblems. They're nationalists is what custom means uh, mm -hmm. that weren't showing up. So now the, the AOP, or AOP. <laughs> Hey, oh, yeah, you did it. That was perfect. You could have been, you could have been from down the road. Uh, well, that <laughs> that inscription is finally visible. I believe. Did you? You guys already started uh, giving it to the people that you promised it to or earned it? 
We've we've sent a ticket for those that have already won the A up A up inscription. You should get twenty five of them. Um, it's with support now, so hopefully um, you'll get that sent to you real soon. But I've I've got the list. Um, I've got the list, so you guys are definitely going to get them, and we'll start giving them away again on insider information. Um, the VR special little giveaway that we'll do every week. Twenty five per player. Twenty five. We just lost our sanity completely. <laughs> It's only once a week. <laughs> Our kids uh, paying God. <laughs> so, someone, someone, someone I'm sure will ask uh, what are the next tanks we're looking at for Reforged. Uh, I, the, it, it's going to be a German medium uh, tank destroyer uh, line and, and, and premiums. Uh, okay. So that's your hint. Uh, that's the hint. Uh, and, and, then, and then a reminder... I'll let you. I'll let you give the reminder at the end because you're running the show this year. It's my show this year, Extra Life. We are two weeks and one day away from when we start. I'm going to be starting at eight o'clock in the morning on Saturday, the sixth of November. We have a complete schedule. We're going to be seeing. Um, we're going to be seeing things like tanking after dark return we're gonna have jeff greg back for his special um segment that he does every year we've got a whole host of um, community contributors volunteers we've got a design q a section um we've got army guy coming back for a Reveille, and we're going to finish things up um, with me and a special community guest and um, we were talking this morning on what we're going to do it's going to be fun we're going to do some um, some funny things uh, just to kind of like finish off the event really strong. But we're going to be live all together for 25 hours on this channel, two weeks tomorrow. And it's all in aid of Extra Life, um, who raise money for children's, mir children's miracle charities. And um, this is our ninth year in the row doing it. So... It's definitely our favorite event of the year as a, as a studio. There's going to be a lot of, you know, <coughs> members of staff taking part. Um, some that you've maybe never seen before, some that you've not seen in a long time. Um, but stay tuned for some more information on that coming really soon. But we're ready to go. We've just got, we've just got to finalize what we're going to be giving away and finalize what our, um, our bonus codes are going to be for everybody in the channel. Um, but yeah, you can expect something that's very similar to last year, um, but hopefully even better. <laughs> All right. So someone asked, uh, "Where the where the who did the music for the the Halloween trailer?" And, I did uh, see that little, question. Yeah. Yeah, a little birdie helped me out. Um, we use a actual music service where artists create music and they put it up for licensing and use and it's all copyright yeah you know correct and everything like that and legal and i get money for it um the site to go to is called audio network.com um i'm not name, familiar with that site the the name of the track is malstorm and i like the, it the uh, uh composers are tom quick and martin bentley that's so really I'll, nice I'll, of you to do that, Penga. Thank you. As a and, as a musician, uh, it's, uh, deserve their due. I'll 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 Skype you the the link to the song so that you can put the details. Yeah, that'd in your be notes. great. Uh, yeah, I always support you know independent artists, man. Yeah, no, it's it's it, it can be hard to get your music out there, and it's really nice if you know if you guys are really enjoying that. I'll put it in the notes for sure. Yeah, can. can, can I, I I can imagine as I was around then, you know, before there were sites like this, before there was, you know, internet communities, like, yep. you know, the, you know, one out of what ten thousand people ever got their name and their music out to anybody to hear, other than a I've done it. Bar. It's you go out there, you go out there with your CDs, you go out there with your vinyl, you and you just you get lucky and. Um, you know, you, you talk to people, it's hard, you know. Um, it's expensive as well because you have to go out there and support your other fellow musicians as well who you tour with, you play with. It's a hard life. It's a good life, though. It's And um, it's a, there's a lot of satisfaction to, to doing music. So You have to pay your uh, bar tab and anything you break. 
<laughs> yeah, do not put any kind of drink on top of the uh, speakers that aren't yours. Very bad. Do not do it. <laughs> All right, so we've got through everything on our list. Um, now it's time for your questions. If you haven't done already, um, you can tag me in the chat with questions that you guys might have. Um, I've already got a bunch of them that Modern Carlout, um, Lady Obscure, and Tank Zars have gotten together for me here. So I'm going to go through a few of them. Um, Dover Nufi, a question for me. Where's the costume? I, I'm going to be wearing a costume next Friday, and that is a promise. Promise, promise, promise. And I'm going to wear it on Monday as well. Not this Monday coming up. Um, we don't have a stream on Monday, but um, the following Monday and Friday. Um, so it is going to is this the facial hair will be involved, um, but I have not it, I've not sh I've not said what the costume is yet, but it's designed to make you guys chuckle a little bit. <laughs> choke a little bit? Is that what you said? Ch chuckle, not choke. I don't want to choke you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so let's 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 we're running out of time. Let's do this. You do one, I'll do one, okay? Okay. So, uh from <laughs> I don't even know how to saber breath something. I'm sorry. Uh can the next event, uh like the Halloween event, be longer than a week? Um PC events last for weeks. Their Halloween event has been on the go for a few weeks. Uh yeah, we can leave them up for longer. It's uh, you know, Halloween, we always leave up for a week where our other events sometimes we only have for the weekend or whatever, because, um, you know, being one map and the same thing over and over get kind of monot uh, monotonous. But, um, you know, now we have such a huge range of monster tanks that all have different abilities. It totally makes sense to uh, have it up for longer in the future. So thanks. Thanks for uh, asking that. Agreed. Agreed. Lady okay. Obscuro, make note for next year. There we go. It comes the tickets. <laughs> we got Dart Swinger here with a question. Um, do we have any information on um, the marks of excellence? I know that in in the last few streams we said that we were we were um, investigating them. Do we have any updates on that? Yeah, the 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 engineer is is, is study is is pulling a, a month of map data and Mark's excellence to look at the weighting on that again, which was the, the change that we made to see if we need to make any additional changes because uh, new maps have come out since then. And so there may be um, some variance that needs to be uh, adjusted for. Um, it's crunching a whole lot of data. He says it, it runs on his machine, his second machine for like about two weeks to crunch everything. So right. it's, it's in, in, in progress. Um, Ask again next week, and I'll let you know where, where, where the, yeah. what the test is. I don't know exactly when you started the the process on uh, of, of, of munching the data. We'll keep he's going to pop up. He's going to pop up on Skype every second now and say, "No, you explained it all wrong, TJ." <laughs> oh dear. All right, your question. Uh, will there be a bundle of 3D commanders for the purchasing rather than the recruitment method? Uh, we can do that, uh, but. I, I thought we did, so the fact that we didn't, I'm a little bit surprised, and I'm sorry. I don't know why we wouldn't promote them in the store and leave them buried under recruit. Uh, so we'll get better about that, Lady Obscura note. Um, that, uh, yeah, we should, theme, themed commanders, we should definitely put uh, in, in bundles together so uh, there's more awareness for, of, of them. And, of course, when we mm -hmm. put multiple things together, we give a discount, so you spend less buying them as a group. Um, yeah, so we can probably probably post Halloween at this point because we've authored everything for the rest of October, but we can put them up as a, a collection. So uh, thanks. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'd seen that um, that feedback as well. So we we'll definitely second that. Cool. What else we got here? Um, this is from Prime um, from OG Gaming ninety six. Um, there's a question on the PS five native. Um, do you have to download a new version of the game, or is this just something that will filter in with the update on Tuesday? I believe you have to manually say, hey, I want to download it. Okay. Um, so it won't overwrite your current one. So that's what I'm saying. Unless you want to see the activity stuff, you don't have to, like, grab it and download it right away because there's not any difference between the backward compatible as far as graphic yeah. or refresh rate or anything like that because we did all that earlier in, in the year. Um, Understood. So yeah, it's it's, it's, more, a, it's it's more for a going forward type thing. 
so would this be something optional for the time being? You know, yeah, if you, want, you, yeah. Can keep playing, you can keep playing the one, uh, the PS4 backwards compatible uh, one you have right now. You, you can keep playing that for months and not have to worry about it. Yeah, so with things like this, something personal that I do is, you know, um, if I'm, you know, if I'm going to be going out for a little bit or maybe go to bed, I'll just download something new and then it's ready for me in the morning. So just something to think about. All right, your turn. Um, What's the Academy? Speaking of Cold War tanks, can we get the NM-116 in World War II as well? Many of us have been asking for it for years. <clears throat> and, and and not for Cold War. Uh, I, I, that that ticket that that Jira ticket's already been filed and came across my desk this week. Uh, so we put it in the queue to make that happen for you. That is, um, yeah, that was that was the one we were able to do really quickly. So that I mean, it was it's a funny one really that because it came came to me from Watson Academy and I saw it with a bunch of other other players as well. Went into a ticket went off to the team and then it's already been done. So it was, you know, it was already in motion by the sounds of it. So it was really cool um, to, to see that. Great. All right. What else we got here? Um, a question from I Garfield. Um, will we see any more maps making their way into the Cold War rotation in the future? Uh, yeah, like the next set of four maps, two of two of them uh, will be in Cold War. Um, <clears throat> I think we've kind of exhausted the ones we have had right now. We've tried some in Cold War; they didn't work out. We pulled them out because of the sight lines. You know, people can see each other at spawns. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, we're, we're 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 working hard to get maps added to Cold War uh, as well as uh, World War Two. Great stuff. There's for the for the next big update. There's a secret fifth map. One of the artists is trying to get done that is uh, uh, a, it's pretty freaking amazing, uh, and it's definitely big enough for Cold War. Uh, but nice. it'll also be in World War Two. Uh, we, I can't. I don't want to say because I, I can't promise it's gonna be done. This is like, yeah, you know, this, this is, is a, one a, of those a labor ones, yeah. pet project that uh, they're they're gonna try. But we've been pl play testing it in the daily play test, and it's it's pr freaking cool. Good luck, level designers. <laughs> Uh, is it me or you? It is you. Okay. Uh, BQ2 Sandman. Put the armadillos on sale again. <laughs> I wish I could. So, unfortunately, I haven't been involved in making any of the license deals. And when they make the license deals, they put all these time limitations and number of occurrences and all this stuff into the contract. And then we get like, Hey, you get to make GI Joe tanks. We're like, cool. We make them all, and they're like, they're like, oh yeah, you can sell them for two weeks. That's it. We're like, what? Why did I spend all that time and energy and for something to be spelled for two weeks? So the good news <laughs> is the license allows us to sell them again, but there's conditions about away, how often, yeah. the time in between, how much we're going to promote it, uh, etc. So it's not like I can just say turn on next week because we have to like run everything past them and get approvals on the marketing assets and the promotional materials and this is why i'm not a lawyer because that kind of stuff makes me crazy uh, so it, 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 they will come again i just don't know when yet mm -hmm. excellent all right just going through my questions here modern carlo thank you very much um that's that's really funny that you asked that question. Is there any chance you guys play your game? Yes, I love playing. It's been a while since I've been able to play, but I really, really want to get back to playing. I've been so busy over the last few weeks. I had to take some personal time off to be with my family. But um, we all play the game. A lot of us play the game privately so we can enjoy the game. I play it publicly and uh, I will play with you. Um, so if you haven't done already, um, add me. I'm on Xbox, Mento Vimto, and um, I'd love to love to play with you, platoon up, um, hopefully be able to get back into it, playing next week. But I will 100% be playing for like five, six hours, maybe even longer on Extra Life. Um, we're going to be doing, uh, we're probably going to be doing some custom games. We might do an unofficial bounty event. Um, we've done them in the past where you have to uh, claim your bounties through Discord. 
Um, but we're going to be doing um, a lot of fun stuff on the 6th of November and we will be playing the game. So be sure to join us. Yeah, between, so for, for, for me and like, you know, especially the whole design team, we have the daily mainline build. We have stable is what we call that has fixes and what's going to go off to you next. Then we have super test, which is a production environment um, where we test things in the real environment and allow super test to test them. Um, and then the live game. So between those four versions, and sometimes we have special versions for other special tests that we do, uh, I literally play the game every single day. Yep, it's it, you don't you don't see it because it's it it doesn't get you know you don't get to see the stats on it and stuff like that. You you play in um, the super testers will understand that it's 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 that beta that I play on the Mondays. You know, for the the insider information with the all all of the nice amounts of gold and everything like it's everybody who works on this plays the game a lot um you know before things come to live but also i know people play um when things are live as well and a lot of people i know will play privately they want to just enjoy themselves relax they've worked on the game all day and um, they don't want to be asked questions after work about you know what's going on but you can hit me up though i will i will deal with that on everyone's behalf <laughs> Right. Uh, and it's your turn. Uh, Brute Bullet 6040. When will other 3D uh, Halloween commanders be available? Uh, I'm sure we're going to do a bunch next year because these were so popular. Definitely. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get a, a bigger head start and have more than four next year, uh, is, is uh, the plan uh, at, at the moment. Um, but we, have, we have a bunch of other special ones in store. Uh, for you know, going through through the year, uh, so we're doing next year planning and um, uh, what we're going to do for different events. And you know, some came up like, uh, let's do a, a leprechaun commander, 3D commander, a leprechaun 3D commander. <laughs> I'm like, no, because you know, you see the commanders now, and, like, you only see them from like the knee up or whatever, like that. I'm like, we have to change all the cameras to have a short little tiny dude. Um, the Irish so inside me was just like. <laughs> Just like laughing in the background. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you would never see him on the camera, but you would hear him. Yes, that'd be hilarious. Would be like little lucky charm stars going across the screen. Like, <laughs> wherever he's standing. Oh dear. What we like? <laughs> All right, I'm running out of questions here, um, and we we're getting we're getting close um to yeah. the end of the stream so if you got some extra ones you can definitely fire away Mr. I, I, think I, got, I got one left elliot 2751 can we have a community vote for what tank should have a skin next i love this yeah a, a community vote on what tank should have a skin absolutely uh we we, we can do that uh lady obscura can work with mintos uh, uh, Let's uh do it. on uh arranging that it won't be the next one that comes out because uh you know the way our production yeah. cycles are is What's you know the skins we're having coming for the next four months are already in production. So, um, but yeah, vote now and it could be something maybe by end of first quarter next year or you know mid next, next year. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get on that. Um, you know, see if it's possible. And um, yeah, so th again, like I love doing these streams because you know we get to sit down as a community. It's a community update. You know, we answer as many questions as we can. Um, can't answer all of them, unfortunately, um, but you know, good things do come out of these streams. Um, so hopefully, we'll get a <laughs> we'll get a community skin. Watch it like Gaming Daddy just said. It, watch it be the Tug Two. That'd be hilarious. But let's see which way you guys want to go. Be, what, the Tug Two. The Tug Two. Yeah. <laughs> what skin would you put on a Tug Two? It would be a hot dog, definitely. It would be a hot dog. Yeah, hot tug. We could. We should. Uh... When, when we did the uh, the the the, the tog boat, oh, for the April Fools, yeah, we should take that model and make it a skin you can put on the tog. That'd be cool. You could be a little battleship driving around on land. A tog. There we go. You came up in the chat as well. Land boat on the tog too. <laughs> or a school bus on the tog too. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I was right. I got corrected. Data collection is still going on. It's going on until the twenty eighth for the marks of excellence. Oh, so we got uh, we got another six days yet. Yeah, because yeah, we need uh, uh, four full weeks of data from the last version, which was seven two. 
um, when the new maps were added. Uh, so that's the current status of it. Okay. That, that isn't even all collected to start crunching yet. So. Gotta crunch those numbers. <laughs> Oh, we've already got a ticket for the community tank skins. I love this stream. It's my favorite stream. Um, I got one final question just because it, I know it's something that we can, you know, we're able to talk about today. Um, we spoke about it over the last um, few weeks. Um, X Spitfire 6 x asks, um, do we have any updates on commander customization? Uh... I didn't bring one for today's class. I'm sorry. Um, we, I know that we. I know we're, we're. I know we're aiming for early next year. Yeah. To have the first part of that in, which is being able to change picture, change voice, um, hopefully skill swap. Um, yeah. But there's more coming. Uh, that that's going to be a feature that's going to be released in stages um, as as we develop because it's so huge and complex. Um, but we're aiming for the first version of that feature early next year. Excellent. All right, folks, that's everything we've got time for today. Um, the last thing that we have to do is draw our winner. So we have, um, I'm going to give you guys one more chance just to get in, actually, because we've got, we've only, we've only got just over half people in stream who've entered this, and it's for, it's for a chance to win the Cold War um, Centennial Chieftain T95-59. Um, and that's going to be joining us on Tuesday. We don't have a stream on Monday. It's Mrs. Vemto's birthday, so I will be spending some time with my family on that day. Um, so this is your, your only chance to win this, apart from Twitter. You got a chance to win this on Twitter as well today. So without further ado, wow, well, we got 10 extra entries um, in that little delay in Technica I did. Without further ado, we have a winner. It better not be I Garfield. It's not. <laughs> it's someone that I've not seen win before, so we got a new Good. winner. It's definitely not rigged. Hashtag rigged. Congratulations, the Supreme 56. Um, you're going to get your tank. Uh, I'm going to send in the ticket straight after this stream. It comes out on Tuesday. It takes up to three days to be credited, though. So congratulations. It's rigged. <laughs> GG's everyone <laughs> and thank you very much for the happy birthdays to you ZD um, I'm, I'm not too sure what we're going to do uh, maybe we'll do some we'll do some gaming together uh, maybe go out for a nice meal or something like that not sure yet but uh, it's going to be a nice day either way alright folks thank you all so much for coming along and joining us we'll be back next Friday um, any final words for the community pain God? Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. I'll see you on the battlefield. Have a great weekend. Great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.